Paul Zolka, Ivy Masters Learning Center, and IvyMasters.com. And today we're going to look at the 15th question from the Digital SAT Test 1 Module 2. It's from the Blue Book app, the hardest seven math questions. Number 15 reads, and a given equation, B is a constant, for which of the following values of B will the equation have more than one real solution? So honestly, the easy way to do this is to plug it into Desmos. And you can see you've got your 64x squared plus bx plus 25 there and plugging it right into Desmos over here. Uh, finish plugging it in plus 25. It gives you this option to add a slider. And so you can click on that. If you notice the options for B were anywhere between negative 91, so I'm gonna plug that in, and a positive 40. And we'll just make this step by one. Now, then you hit enter and it gives you this slider. Now, it's going to be zoomed up to here and you're not gonna see this at all. So what you gotta do is you gotta zoom out, zoom out until you see the parabola. Now, once you see the parabola, you can move the slider, move it this way, it comes down, move it this way, it goes up and then it comes down again and it looks like it does not go through the X. You don't have more than one solution. A solution is an intersection point. So you're at negative 91. Let's see, negative 80 was another option there. Negative 80 looks like it just kisses the X axis. It looks like there's one solution at negative 80. So you just bubble it in negative 91 and you move on. Now, what if you were to do this by hand? Well, it's um, B squared. The quadratic formula, if you remember it, it's negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, the whole thing over 2a. What I want you to pay attention to is that b squared minus 4ac, you might remember that's called the discriminant. And the discriminant's helpful because, and by the way, when we're talking about all these a's and b's and c's, we're talking about the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So if we've got 64x squared plus bx plus 20, 25, you could see that your a equals 64, your b equals b, and your c equals 25. So as it turns out, now let's say your b squared minus 4c was negative. Well, the square root of anything negative is imaginary. It's not a real solution. So you could make a rule, b squared minus 4ac, if it's less than zero, then it's no real solution. Now let's say b squared minus four ac equals zero. Well, the square root of zero is zero. And you see, I've got that plus minus there with the quadratic formula. If you take any value and add zero to it, take that same value, subtract zero from it, you get the same value twice. So this is one solution. What happens if b squared minus 4ac is greater than zero? Now, what I want you to imagine is, let's say b squared minus 4ac winds up being, giving you four. Well, the square root of four is two, and let's say out here you wind up getting a value of five. So then you do five plus two, you get seven. Five minus two, you get three. So here you get two solutions. There you have that. Now. Uh, we want it, we need, it says more than one real solution. So I need b squared minus 4ac to be greater than zero. So in place of b, we put b because our b is b minus four. In place of a, we put 64 times 64 times our c, which is 25. And that's gotta be greater than zero. So if you notice four times 25, that's gonna be 100 times 64 is gonna be 6,400. So b squared minus 6,400 is greater than zero. And then you add your 6,400 to both sides. And cancel here, you get b squared is greater than 6,400. Now what you might notice, you've got b squared. So your answer here is gonna be plus minus. So if I take the square root of both sides, um, then it winds up being b is greater than 80, or if you take the negative, then you also have to flip the sign, or b is less than 
negative 80. So we have no values, no possible values of B that are greater than 80, but we have one value of B that's less than negative 80. And once again, that's answer choice A. Thank you for joining us, but use decimals here, it's so much easier. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty with quadratic, solving for B here, quadratic formula, discriminant. If there's any question you'd like to answer from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to do a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out that one minute video on TikTok. Have a great day.